Hey friends, I have a ton. Hey friends, I have a ton of errands to run today. We could kick off a what I spend in a week video. Today is a Friday. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to like go in a circle, post office first, dropping off a Poshmark sale. Done at the post office. So I'm here at the library where I have to pay a library fine for the DVDs. Why is it always the DVD? I single-handedly keep the library in business because of late fines. Fortunately, I do have some coupons for like a dollar off some fines. So I think my fine's gonna be $10 today. $12 is what I paid in the library, but guess what I picked up? I have Stephen King's Thinner. I don't think I've read that one before. The first two of Dean Koontz's Jane series. I haven't read those. I haven't read his books in a long time. And then I got a bunch of movies. I have Holiday Inn, A Shop Around the Corner, A Streetcar Named Desire because it's a classic and Haley's never seen it. I feel like she needs to see it. It's just one of those ones that you just have to see once at least. And then I got our next James Bond movie, which is Goldfinger. Did I tell you that we're going through all of the James Bond movies from like the beginning? So we're on number three, Sean Connery. I think is the best Bond. I want to work up to the Daniel Craig one so they can see the, the current ones because I actually really like him as Bond also. Okay, I have to pay property taxes. The joys of home ownership. Ours is cut in half, so I have to pay half of it before December and then the other half in June. But my first half that is due is $1,581.63. So that is what I'm going to go pay right now at the county tax collector's office, which is just down the street. Using their online thing like costs extra money, so I'm gonna do that. So let's go there and then we might have to go to Walmart. <sighs> I save up every single month to pay my property taxes every year because they are not bundled into my uh, mortgage payment. I don't do an escrow account, I pay them all myself. We are at the Walmart because I've been working with Lasagna Love. We need lasagna supplies. Wow. How are your pasta aisles looking? Holy smokes. Okay, I'm gonna get this oven ready one right here. If you guys are interested in signing up with Lasagna Love, making meals for families in need, I will leave a link down below if you wanna go check it out. Done with Walmart and unfortunately we're gonna have to go to one more store. Filming a video on some of Rachel Ray's 30 minute meals. So I was looking for those ingredients as well. I spent $130.26 at Walmart. Here's the problem with making videos on Food Network chefs. They want like a really specific mushroom or a really specific shrimp or cheese. And I do not live in an area where I can find those things. <laughs> Fennel bulb, anyone? Anyone? Can't find it where I live. Today's turning out to be an expensive day. Hopefully I don't do anything tomorrow. <laughs> and I don't spend any money. Vote down below if you think I can find fennel, fresh fennel at this grocery store. Fingers crossed. Ah! I just spent $27 on like four ingredients. This, this, hazelnut. I couldn't find any shrimp with the heads on. And this is like, you know, it's like frozen. Whatever. I'm in Idaho. I'm landlocked. This is all I can do. $27.83 right there for those ingredients. Tell me about the sweater, Haley. Okay, first of all, I'm pleasantly surprised with like, with Walmart right now. I like them. So which one's mine? Do, do I get the blue or do I get the white? I'm trying to figure that out. That is very you. Is it? Like, it, Christine to the max. Tell me that this is not like, yeah, that's that's a sweater I'd wear. I don't really do Does it make well. me look like a football player? With, if I do this. No, it doesn't. If I do this. It just makes you look like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> this does feel very much like me. Like that something is, I buy. That is a you thing. So maybe, maybe it means we should switch so we're out of our element and trying yeah, new things. Yeah, because I have a lot of blue and that would be a very you thing to do. You look good in that. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah. <gasps> they were 10 bucks each. If you want to go to your Walmart, see if you have them. Dave and I went on a date to the mall mostly because I haven't bought jeans in several years. So we went to go try on jeans. That was the worst experience on planet Earth. I did end up buying a pair. I will show them to you. But at Bath and Body Works, they sent me a coupon for like free item uh, with a $10 purchase. This is my free item. I got Fireside Flurries Lotion, $16. Plus tax, I paid $17.49 for these two items. I picked up the winter uh, scented three wick candle. Haven't started burning it yet. So it smells like spicy, like woodsy and spicy, which is really, really nice. 
And then the jeans I picked up were from American Eagle. They do not fit me great and they were having a sale. So I think they were about $43. They're okay. I must have tried on 20 pairs of jeans. I didn't really like any of them. So I'm not digging the jean style at the moment. It's just not flattering on my body type. So I'll just wait patiently until low rise boot cut come back. I haven't seen any low rise in a minute. And that was Saturday. It is Sunday and on Sundays, I don't really do much, which means I'm not gonna be spending any money, but what I am going to be doing is spending some money today on myself in the form of investing. I make sure to invest every single month for my future, my kids' future. I've been investing since 2009, and I feel like I've learned a few things along the way. A bunch of platforms and companies require a minimum investment of like $2,000, $3,000 to get started, and that is completely overwhelming to a beginner. So I wanna tell you like a really easy way that you can get started as a beginner investor for as little as $5. Thank you to Stash for partnering with me on today's video. And what I like about the Stash platform is you don't need very much money, like $5, to get started in investing in companies that you already know. All you have to do is download the app, add cash to your account, and you can get started in like five minutes with five buckaroonies. Monthly subscription fees start at only $1 a month. That's the one that I use. It is literally that simple. Listen, if you kept any money in your savings account over the last year, you have lost money because the inflation rate over the last year was over 6%. The simplicity of the app can make it so easy to start investing. You can choose from over 3000 stocks and ETFs like Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, and you can get some advice along the way, or you can set up a smart portfolio and Stash will invest for you. Download Stash using the link down in the description box below. It will also be the pinned YouTube comment. All you have to do is add $1 cash to your portfolio and they're gonna give you a bonus of 50 doll hairs. And then you can start investing with a cool $51. So go on over there and sign up today. You can only get this deal with my link below. First link in the doobly-doo or the pinned comment and get $50 from Stash. Thank you again to Stash for offering this amazing deal for my viewers. I would love for you guys to get started investing in your future. And that's gonna wrap up Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow for more spending. Today is Monday and here is what I have spent so far. Not very much. I did go to the bank and deposit a check, so I am in the positives a little bit there. The only thing I really did is I booked a, a long-term parking at the airport for my car for Thanksgiving. We're already home by the time you're seeing this video, but we went to Florida. That was $58 to park my car in long-term parking for a week. Hey friends, it's day five. I had a couple of expenses today that were not fun. Now our family car is a Suburban. It's not new by any means. We bought it used. It's a 2012. There's a few scratches and bumps, but it serves its purpose and it works fine. We've had this crack running through the windshield for a while. I went ahead and called, made the appointment for a new windshield put in my Suburban. Oh, and also had to fill it up with gas today. Now listen, you can go a long way. I can go almost 600 miles on one tank, but it does cost 80 bucks. So I had $305 that I spent on my Suburban today. Yeehaw. My daughter Haley, is doing one online class this uh, next semester. And so we went ahead and registered for that $76 and that hopefully concludes day five. <laughs> okay, I spent another $2.50, $2.50 at the grocery store today on bread. That actually does wrap up today. I hope. <laughs> it's the end of day six. I may have run in my discount store just for fun. I really like going to just look around. Dave, do you remember how much this cost? 36. 36? Wow, that is low. Oh my gosh, Dave, dead on. 36.42, 36.42. I thought for sure I was gonna have to put gas in my car today, but I didn't. We're squeaking down at the bottom. I should probably get it tomorrow. You wanna see what I got at the discount store? Of course you do. 10 granola bars for a dollar. Woohoo! And got like 20 cliff bars. 20 cliff bars. For two bucks. I found these Royal Spicy Korean rice packets, four of these. These were 75 cents. We got some mayo, 75 cents each for these squeezy tubes. Oh, a few more uh, Lenny and Larry's cookie. Do not be fooled. I've said this before, but this is not like a protein cookie. 
This is a calorie bomb, okay? I don't know why they marketed it as marketed it as a healthy cookie. I don't know why. Oh, Dave, do you know how many calories are in the whole cookie? 440. 460 snickerdoodle flavor. We like them for like hiking. I found a couple of my favorite protein bars, the Power Crunch, the chocolate one. They only had like three of the chocolate. And then I like the Cliff Whey Protein as well. Peanut butter chocolate. These are 50 cents each. Weber Gourmet Burger. Hamburger. 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 This Vapo Cool, this blue one, these are the best. They are potent. Vitamin C doodad was 99 cents. We bought it before, it's pretty good. Just like orange gummies. How much are these chips, Dave? A dollar 25? Dollar 30. Dollar 30, wow, you are really spendy today. <laughs> <laughs> I got these salsa on the border chips. Have you had these? I haven't had these, but they look fun. Ooh, I should not have bought this one, but I couldn't help myself. Milk chocolate chips, a dollar. I bought five. One, two, three, five. I restrained myself. There were probably a hundred, and I only bought five. So huge, huge pat on my back. Have you ever had this keto cereal? I didn't buy it for the keto part. I bought it for the protein content. <laughs> I'm doing this thing where I have to eat so much protein a day, and I'm finding it difficult. But it has 15 grams of protein without the milk. Before you add the milk. For this one, this one's chocolate. And then this one is also 15 grams of protein per serving. That is pretty dang good for cereal. Hopefully they're not gross. They had the Annie's organic pancake waffle mix. I love my protein muffin mixes. Verde hot sauce, 75 cents. Have you ever had this? Nope. Ingredient number one, jalapeno pepper. You can't go wrong there. I have a feeling that one's just gonna like punch you in the face then. And then I got two of the Sir Ken Sir, what? Sir Kensington's flavors, the chili lime crema and the gochujang. Did I even come close to saying that right? These are 75 cents each. 36.24 at the discount store. Hey, it is day seven and we have a few errands to run today. Oh, I should return the library book so I don't get another library fine. So right now we are at the Wally's World to pick up a secret Santa gift for Tyler's gymnastics. Something Christmassy, something chocolatey, but we're gonna go in and see what we can see. I have these, you know, the kids get McDonald's stuff. I thought we'd go to McDonald's, redeem this free Sunday free french fry. I could get a Diet Coke for a dollar because they have large Diet Cokes for a dollar. So I'm definitely spending a dollar. Can I get a vanilla ice cream cone, small french fry, and a large Diet Coke? No ice. At Walmart for the Secret Santa, we spent $20 on this jousting, jousting thing for the Secret Santa, which I think is super cool. I kind of want one. And we spent $2 on cups. So I got $22 at Walmart and $1 at the Mickey D's. Mmm. Ryan? Right. Thank you. Yeah, good day. Oh my gosh, those fries smell so good. Comment down below what fast food fry are you a fan of? McDonald's, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A. Mm, I like Chick-fil-A. Burger King fries are garbaggio, by the way. <laughs> Sonic ditto. What? We're going to Sonic to get the tots. Oh, sweet nectar of the gods right there. Mm. Help me up with a fry, Tyler. Mm. Bonus fry. Thank you. What is gas where you are? Ooh, a 3.59. Ouch, that's painful. That 50 bucks could have bought me some shoes. Total that I spent for the entire week, including my investing through Stash, is this number right here. Of course, if you wanna try out Stash, it is the first link in the doobly-doo and in the pinned comment. All you have to do is download the app with my link. It's the only way you can do it. Add $1 and they're gonna give you $50 to invest. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. I hope you have a happy holidays and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>